the math guy, Steve. Let's try solving this equation. Okay, so how we solve this is by first trying to isolate a radical. Now, luckily we have a radical already on the side by itself, okay? So then we square both sides of that equation. So squaring both sides of this equation, on the right hand side, we just get 3x minus 3. On the left hand side, we're squaring a binomial, meaning we have to foil this out. So if I foil that or multiply that out, square root of x times square root of x is just x. Square root of x times 1, we get square root of x. 1 times square root of x, we get square root of x. And then 1 times 1, we get 1. And that equals 3x minus 3. But still, we have radicals left over. So now let's try to isolate those radicals, okay? So we would say, well, let's combine like terms first. So x plus 2 square root of x plus 1 equals 3x minus 3. Getting the radical on the side by itself, that would be subtracting 1 and subtracting x. That gives me 2 square roots of x equals 2x minus 4. Now, we still haven't isolated the radical yet, so we have to divide both sides by 2. That gives me square root of x equals x minus 2. And now we have to square both sides again to get rid of that radical, which would give me x equals again. That's x minus 2 squared. And so squaring x minus 2, we get x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. So now we have a quadratic equation, right? So that would give me 0 equals x squared minus 5x plus 4. So trying to factor that, uh, we get double, double, okay? x and x. And now we have uh, two numbers that multiply me 4 add to give me negative 5. So that would be negative 4 and negative 1. We get 0 on one side, factor on the other side, set each factor equals 0. So x minus 4 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. Now solving each separately, we get x equals 4, and x equals 1. And that would be our solutions. Wait a second! So we're solving a radical equation, we have to plug that back into the original equation and see if we get a true statement, okay? Always remember, math is everywhere.